Hello, um, we are uh, here to uh, present to you how to make a dumpling. So uh, my ingredients are the following. Uh, we have um, ground pork, soak overnight with salt and pepper, and a little bit of soy sauce and oyster, oyster sauce. And um, I bought uh, the dumpling wrapper at the uh, Asian store. So how to make it? Um, just have one wrapper and uh, a little bit of a little bit of um, pork. Use water. Use water, and then uh, just put it uh, there in the edge so that the both uh, edge of the wrappers will be uh, sticking together when you are making that then you have to do the water there too and then water here too so this this would be the finished product yeah and save it there so i have uh, plenty already there and then i'll make more again i will repeat the sequence a little bit of um, a little, probably a, a little portion like that this not too much not too little and then uh, water to stick the edge together and then uh, cover the meat with both uh, edge you can also put um, water on the side so it will stick so that when you boil it it will not uh, open now that's the finished product now you can um, um, use this or you can uh, cook this uh, with a soup it's either noodle soup or just a uh, plain wonton soup with no noodles and uh, you can also steam this as, um, as just a steam and you eat it and um, dip it in soy sauce and it would be yummy okay thank you very much for watching and we will uh, show you uh, later on uh, how i cook my uh, soup with this one okay bye for now so here um we're done with um wrapping so how many wrappers i uh did i have uh, 35 wrappers for one pound of uh of uh, pork and um, 35 all in all and this is half a pound of the wrapper and one pound of the pork so now um, I'm going to uh, prepare a soup base and we will uh, make a noodle soup out of this so I did boil um, six cups of water Six because we are four in our family then I have um, to put um, uh, 16 balls so four balls each I can either use a brown um, noodle and that is a buck wheat noodles or the white noodles which is a Shandong noodles for my soup base, I will use a chicken bouillon powder, okay, and sea salt, and soy sauce, and a little bit of uh, oyster sauce, to uh, salt and pepper to taste. Here, we will now um, put this ball. and then let it cook. I will know that it is cooked because if you see it is down deep, um, it will, when it is already cooked, it will float. So I will cover it. Do you? So uh, you can see that the 
uh, dumplings are already floating so I can uh, put um, a spoonful of uh, chicken soup uh, base or uh, powder chicken powder okay. and uh, a little bit of uh, sugar to taste oh this is a salt this is a salt and uh, a little bit of soy sauce just to a uh, little bit of soy sauce Then I can uh, put a um, powder, which is, um, this is, um, spice or a pepper. And I will just be going to taste it. Mmm, look at that, it's yummy. So since uh, it is already cooked and um, the soup base is really good, I'll use a gailan. This is a gailan um, vegetables. Simmer it so that the vegetables will cook. Then it's over. It's done, and I will be pouring it into my noodle, which uh, which I already pre-cook. So my husband wants the white noodle, and my uh, son likes the brown noodle. So I will show you the uh, final product soon. So now we're going to pour this to our pre-cooked uh, noodles. I will just uh, put um, vegetables for each. This is for how long? This is for me. Other uh, son is still sleeping. We are pouring this noodles for each. Wow, look at that. Small portion for me, and then that is for our other son. Yeah, what do you think? Okay, make a comment, share, and uh, subscribe.